Hello everybody. Um, we have just completed um, design of slab bridge the superstructure. Uh, though we have only so far concentrated on the working stress, but the thing is that we shall give you the problem solution that I shall give so that you can go through it and you can understand that um, what uh, we are trying to say. Now, before uh, because only superstructure will not help, so that is why uh, we thought that uh, it is uh, useful to go for at least introduce the abutment though we shall not go detail of that, but at least uh, we should know that what should be the um, that your geometry of that abutment that at least we should know. So, we shall at least we should spend some time on that before going to the RCC T beam bridge. So, coming to this one here that we are considering your reinforced uh, concrete road bridges that we are considering that one selection 15 um, here we are considering here and then uh, we shall consider that one say mainly we are considering your say abutment. So, bridge abutment selection of abutment. So, that one we are considering here and uh, why why we have chosen this one here because as I have told you here just to give you idea how shall we choose the um, geometry of that rest of the things because that one we consider separately because our objective uh, mainly say superstructure mainly we are considering in this particular case. Now, coming to that particular one here whatever we can consider that bridge that abutment at two ends. So, you can consider that one abutment at two ends that we can consider. So, what is that abutment? So, that abutment means the structure upon which the ends of a bridge rates is referred to as an abutment. A retaining wall is used to hold back an earth embankment or water to maintain a sudden change in elevation. So, this is the one uh, we consider here that one we can consider. Abutment serves following functions distributes the loads from bridge ends to the ground, withstands any loads that are directly imposed on it, provides vehicular and pedestrian access to the bridge. So, now coming to that before going to the abutment that one because we have whatever I have problem I have shown that one we are having at the two ends that abutment that is the one single span. Now, as I have told you here. just I am taking a sim simple case. So, this is the end we are having here, then we are having the bridge it can be there are different kind of forms. So, you can keep on moving and I can say so we are considering this one here out of that there is an intermediate one here actually you are having that earth there is a approach road will come here here also approach so that means here that earth will come that one will come here that at these two ends if we consider that and this is called that abutment may be say abutments A 1. Similarly, this is another abutment, this is 
A2. Considering that aspect here, that means here that additional thing art also coming into picture, but here in between there is no such thing. So, this is your core intermediate one or we, this one we can consider say you say PR also. You can. Now, coming the considering the soil condition, this one we call can consider this one as substructure considering that we require certain foundation system also which may be pile also that means it may be say your say pile that one also may come into picture that so we are not going to that pile other thing because that one it requires the substructures and foundations it requires another quite some time actually but our idea of this particular one to give you idea that at least we should know the geometry of that one how shall we decide that and what is the basic principle of design because if you understand the basic principle of design then uh, you will be able to solve it uh, design it on your own because the thing is that uh, what I mean to say here that most of the cases everything actually based on certain design principle and that principle actually either design for bending design for shear force or combination and the torsion. So, like that. So, that means and or also axial force. So, whenever we are getting that means if you know the design for this basic four, then you can design any structure that you can design particularly in this case for the reinforced concrete structure that way I can say. So, bridge apartment whenever we are talking I have shown this figure. So, this is the one because it is relevant to tell you here also that particular one. So, this is supported that means whatever we have designed so far we have designed this portion. So, now we would like to find out this is another view um, we can say this is another view we can find out here and then these are the different component from the side that means we require one of them actually your say um, that I can say that your base, base, the stem, then abutment cap we call it, this one your say dot wall. So, that means soil will not come here for slab of course, it is supported here. So, nothing, but the thing is that here to guard that one if it is say RCC TV mother you will find out we shall show you later on that we shall find out that soil may come art may come in this side also that we do not want. So, now the thing is that your objective that one here how shall we decide this dimension, this dimension how shall we decide reinforcement that one inside whatever will come that one bending moments here pores other things on the way. But how shall we decide this dimension so that the structure will be safe and it will stand. So, that is the one we can consider here that we can find out. So, base how to make it this is the one only I am telling you say base and stem part then I have added the dart wall and then finally, we are getting this one that slab only and then you are having that you would say that whole thing that you are getting here. So, this is the one that you have to find out that your objective that particular one here how shall we get the physical dimension of that apartment at least it will fulfill the basic requirement that particular one. So, this is just I am introducing that one to get an idea because um, main there are many more purposes of you know bridge design. One is that you can say that um, general arrangement drawing is made before actually or say structural design you can say though you can say how it is possible because it is based on experience later on the detailed design other things are done that one you can say almost based on the preliminary design you can say. But basic uh, thing that I can say that abutment design or um, those things that values that should be mentioned that what should be the value because a quantity of estimation can be made for the budget allocation. The procedure of selection the most appropriate type of abutments 
will be based on the following consideration. So, obviously, the construction and maintenance cost that is one part you can consider here. Cut or fill earthwork situation that how much you have to cut, how much you have to fill that one also you can consider here. Traffic maintenance during construction. So, during construction what will be the your traffic that one also very, very important. Then construction period that we can say construction period how much time it will take, safety of construction workers, availability and cost of backfill material. So, whether sufficient material and superstructure depth. So, what is the depth of the superstructure? So, based on that actually we um, go for actually your that apartment selection that way we decide. So, now next one we are having the size of apartment horizontal and vertical alignment changes, area of excavation, aesthetics and similar to adjacent structures, previous experience with the type of apartment, age of access for inspection and maintenance, then anticipated life loading condition, accessibility of deformation. So, all those things actually we have to consider and then you have to find out that way we can consider here. So, this is the one uh, we consider for the selection of that apartment that these are the things you have to consider. So, that way you have to consider all of them. Now, what are the forces on apartments? One very important part here that I can say whenever you are talking that one say your just I am taking a simple one. Since in abutment one side is filled with earth because you have to protect that one so that it will not fall. In that case whatever we can consider here that earth pressure this is actually very very important here. So, that one just to give you idea that we have three cases. So, at rest earth pressure when the wall is fixed rigidly and does not move the pressure exerted by the soil on the wall is called a at rest with at rest earth pressure that one we consider here. So, another one is called active earth pressure. So, in that case when a wall moves away from the backfill the earth pressure decreases that is active pressure. Passive earth pressure when it moves toward the backfill the earth pressure increases. So, these are the three cases that we have that we have to consider and on the basis of that you have to find out um, the um, value of your say that your um, one you will get it here that Mm, your say bending moment, shear force, other things that we can find out here, that we can get it here. So, now uh, this is the one just to give you idea, we shall come back to that one, but before that, let me just take a bridge data means actually separate chain, how we classify that chainage generally we have to give that, because this is very, very important the chainage of the bridge that from which. Um, location that bridge actually being started. Then only generally it happens from the main city from how far from the main city that way the starting city of that one is a your say starting point may be 0 and then we go ahead with that um, how many kilometer. So, that means here 43 plus 910 that is the 43 kilometer plus 910 meter that means almost near say uh, 44 meter. Uh, 44 kilometer that um, bridge is being constructed and span central center bearing is 10.4 meter plus the strength of concrete that is 30 Newton per square meter uh, that is the as usual we can nowadays of course, we use 500 Newton per square meter nowadays. So, this is the one I can say that we require this one we require this one these are the standard most of the cases that one this one also we can say depending on the height of course important, but anyway 
we can make that one. So, if we consider that we are having certain load and then we are having certain pressure. and that is due to that earth pressure we can get. That means, here we can find out this one, this will give certain kind of say your um, bending moment that one it will make actually here. So, we can find out due to axial force P and there is a say moment also will be there. So, we can find out that you will just trace distribution. So, this is your that force which will come and this one should not be more than that bearing pressure of the soil otherwise it will fail. So, you can understand that particular one that you have to find out and similarly we have to find out the bending moment and then we can see the uh, corresponding load that we can find out here. So, this one we have to find out and as usual for this case how much will be that one that you can say that means, we require something say your 400 because if it is less than 400, if it is less than 400 uh, that means, this particular 400. So, we can go elongate little bit that is the cross section I am taking. So, this particular one you can make it. So, if it is say for example, here we require say this dot wall say 300 and another one you require say 400 millimeter uh, we require and then we can find out we can find out um, that say 400 and 300 that means we require say 700 millimeter. Now, the thing is that I do not want so I can project that one also this side or this otherwise I have to give if I give say 700 that means this one will come as a 700 that one will come into picture that particular one here. So, this is the one that cross section of the beam the abutment that you have to find out. Similarly, um, from the stress we can find out the your say um, stress here bending stress here. Similarly, we can find out the um, bending stress um, here also that we can find out and on the basis of that we can actually um, solve it. So, this is the one that we like to do it. Now, one more important one that considering that aspect other the structural section, this is very very important the stability of abutment. So, whenever we are considering that stability of abutment that also uh, we have to consider here and that one that cases it may overturn about its toe. So, so if we consider that because of moment, this is my two, this side your says soil. So, earth. So, it may overturn actually here. So, overturning is the one that also you have to check. There are many more such cases where the structure has not failed that concrete remains as it is there is no deterioration, but the overall structure actually overturned. So, not only you have to consider from the design point of view, you have to also consider from the 
um, your uh, that from the rigid body point of view that means whether that your um, load earth pressure I think there whether it will overcome that or turn it and then it will fall that is the one very important particle. So, then another one is called actually along the base slide along the base. So, that one you can consider So, if we consider this line should not be there because we are going to. Consider. So, this particular case it may slide the sliding if it happens there is a certain kind of restriction also um, that you can consider for the um, slide that particular one that it should not actually move that you can consider here. So, this is your the another check you have to do it and you have to find out that whether horizontal force and the vertical one you are having. So, that say for example, here um, you whenever you are designing all those things here, then end, end, end ab abutment there, whatever you can consider um, that um, the sliding other things that overturning that should not be there, that also you have to check the separately. That means, it is not the one only your vertical force, and that vertical force, if we consider that one, it may be say for example, it is a traffic. The uh, traffic actually you can find out that during um, at night the traffic actually that one say very less. So, you can consider during um, night that means the bridge is not at all fully economic that fully actually being occupied, but uh, um, bridge is not uh, fully uh, occupied. So, that way we can consider here that you would say slide that particular one you, you can find out and we can consider this aspect we can find out here. The next one is coming into picture that means here it may fail due to the loss of bearing capacity of soil. The soil capacity of the soil also it may come actually that one whatever the load is coming here the soil capacity also if it becomes less then also it can fail. So, that consideration you have to consider here. So, that means, here uh, you are considering that particular one here you are considering here that whenever you are having that vertical load and horizontal load and then due to that whatever stress is coming here at the bottom and that one should not be more than the bearing capacity of soil and otherwise what will happen that it then it will it will that one you can see it can fail also. Now, deep seated shear failure that is your another case actually it can consider that which may happen uh, at the bottom say like that here it may happen like that that one we can consider. So, that way it happen and then it may go through excessive settlement that means, it will having say settlement um, that is also possible it may happen like that also. So, coming to that particular one here now the uh, question is coming into picture that how shall we decide that you would say that um, abutment depth and other things. So, obviously, that one we can consider here just your general guideline. So, the bearing width is very very important including the dot wall let us go to that figure. So, this is the one that figure you can consider. So, that means our main aim this particular as I have told you. So, one simple way instead of giving any projects and other things we can do it actually like this and then and we can just simply come down. and obviously, it, it is generally unequal just we have given this particular one here. So, we can find out this depth here also you can find out the depth
if it is required we can take the depth here also so that means here we can find out different depth we can find out here as usual this one we can say that we are having that upward pressure and we can find out this one here that as usual we can find out the bending moment and shear force and on the basis of that at this section uh, we can um, uh, find out the depth that we can find out. Similarly, here also at the stream we can find out the reinforcement also we can provide here we can provide the reinforcement here also that way we can find out and since the earth is here. So, we shall get the reinforcement here and similarly we can get the reinforcement here also certain reinforcement we have to give at the top um, just to because the depth if you really see this one this depth can go as I has 1200 millimeter 1800 millimeter like that it can come and so obviously that to um, confine that uh, concrete you have to give the reinforcement the main reinforcement obviously you can consider this one similarly main reinforcement you can consider this one also and then we have to find out um, that your say, solution that you have to find out that your environment. But main objective in this particular one I would like to say that how to find out that so which is governed by the bearing width. and with the data well if it is there. So, we can find out this one and then we can give the general one that based on your say what is called um, the geometry that overturning and that uh, for, for um, that you say 5 cases we have told that overturn about its toe and slide along the base due to loss of bearing capacity of the soil supporting base. So, all those things uh, we can consider and then we can check the way we check it for retaining wall the same way we can check it for um, that abutment also we can check. Now, because as I am telling you this particular one here that abutment similarly your say PR also that also uh, we consider here and uh, generally it comes from the geometry uh, point of view. The uh, another one I could say just to give you idea about say your uh, this one also that we are having say pile because I am giving this particular one here. So, you have to provide the pile. So, you the pile diameter of all those things generally it comes in the range of say 800 millimeter then 1000 so like that it comes and this spacing generally it is coming minimum say 3 D that way we make it and then most of the courses we find out from 1.5 meter to 1.8 meter like that uh, we get that say your depth of say pile cap. So, that means, in the abutment and your PR where now we can give the PR here also we can give 
that particular one depending on the um, you would say that uh, both the things uh, I mean to say you are having this one So, what we can do it here we can we can consider this particular one here we, we can find out that you would say that abutment one we can consider here and then in between we are giving that your say foundation and then we are having that your say physical dimensions other things we can do it. So, then it will be rested by that PR where both the both from both side it will come. So, that is why you can find out that one here that these dimension other things most of the cases it is governed by the these two um, from two sides it is governed and that one also you can find out. So, the, so this dimension generally you provide that one this is the one I thought I should at least tell you regarding abutment how do you decide the dimensions we decide based on the requirement and if you check it then you will find out that only reinforcement you have to provide that way you can see otherwise the whole section it is governed by the uh, required geometry. Thank you very much.